I'm Jack. I'm sad. Oh, here comes Bob. Hey, Mr. Jack. Why are you sad? Because I like this girl named Joe, but I don't know how to get her to like me. Oh, well, don't worry. I was in a social psychology class this semester, and I know exactly how to help you. You just need to follow six simple steps, and she'll be all yours. Step one: be physically attractive. Physical attractiveness is very important. Everyone is more shallow than they want to admit, and tend to associate beautiful with all these other great qualities. Therefore, you should stop looking like this. Wait, but that's my face. Yeah, you need plastic surgery and look more like this. Ooh la la! I mean, look at that symmetry and everything. Am I right? Wait, how am I supposed to do that? I'm poor. I don't know. Rob a bank? Figure it out. Step two: be closer in proximity. Move to her neighborhood, preferably right next door. Just trust me. People tend to like those who are physically closer in proximity. This is the propinquity effect, in case you were wondering. Step three: become familiar. Accidentally bump into her at the supermarket. Accidentally bump into her at the gas station. Accidentally bump into her at the gym. Accidentally bump into her at the park. Accidentally bump into her everywhere. The more she sees you, the more she'll like you. Step four. Be more similar. Interview her friends. Find out what she likes and like those two. Find out what she hates and hate those two. Keep in mind that your attitudes, interests, values, background, and personality must match. Be just like her. Be her. Step five: Treat her nicely so she'll reciprocate. If you're nice to her. Then she'll be nice back. People tend to like those who like them. So invite her to the mall. Help her with her homework. Do her laundry. Buy her gifts. Compliment her every chance you get. Well, unless she has low self-esteem, then you must do the opposite and point out everything that's wrong with her instead. She'll appreciate that because you know self-verification. Step six. Be secretive. Try not to let anyone else know about the attraction. It will allow you and Jill to keep all the joy and excitement between just the two of you. Sneakingly chat with her while in a meeting. It'll be more exciting because you'll feel like you're doing something bad, but it's all innocent fun. Leave her cute notes underneath her door marked "For Your Eyes Only." Send her a box filled with recordings of you singing her favorite songs. And that's it, Jack. So just take my advice, and she'll fall in love with you in no time. Well, what are you still standing around for? Go.